my channel if you're new here my name is taylor and i make scrunchies and bows i've been doing so for 10 years as of tomorrow so i am very pepped up and excited 10 years that is crazy <laughs> i can't believe that very excited to say the least having my 10th anniversary on a market day and not only just a market it's the glengarry market if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i grew up in glengarry that's where the business started and it wasn't until like two or three years ago that I actually moved to Trelgan and now I've moved to another location. Glengarry is my hometown so it's kind of like just really sweet to think about. Um, I'm doing the market tomorrow in Glengarry on 10 years so I'm pretty pepped up for that. In today's vlog it, I don't know what's going to happen really. I've only got a little bit of time to make content today because I've got so much more stuff to do for like the website because I got the website uh, reopening tomorrow morning at nine o'clock with all the new scrunchies and I've already done all the market prep. I was going to film a separate, completely separate video on making the market prep, but it just kind of all got blurred into another vlog. So here it is. I'm hopefully going to make some new signs. I was tempted to change my pricing. I think I want to keep it at the same price. I might, ch I may change it online though and keep the market prices the same because I do like the bulk buy deals. So I don't know. I'm really in two minds about it. I might at least change the XL prices and lower them. Everything I was thinking about lowering a little bit, but I'm not too sure at the moment. Last six months or something. I spent an extra, I think $6,000. I spent double what shipping cost me. So I think the pricing is probably good because especially online because it sort of is that buffer for the pricing of the shipping my three things i was hoping to get done today but i'm not really sure because uh the sun is going down it is 5 30 though really is it going down probably not because i think the sun will set at probably nine o'clock tonight let's go have a look what time 8 40 tonight so maybe i've still got a few more hours left in today my goals are to make a banner i want to make a 10 year anniversary banner uh, with the cricket machine. I haven't used the cricket since I moved in here. I'm hoping it still works. I hope it didn't get like bumped around too much. New signs because my old signs are looking pretty gross. That was because I wanted to do new pricing, but I think I'm just going to keep my old pricing. I think everything is the, yeah, will be the same price as previous. I also want to bake a cake because, you know, 10 years, bake a cake for that um, and try and ice it and then try and take reels. I also had a market today in Warrigal, which was actually really good, and I met some of you guys, which was really nice as well. I love meeting you guys. If you guys, if you see me and you know who I am, just let me know. Like, just tell me, because it really does make my day. And if I have, if I don't look like I recognize you, just introduce yourself again, because I have terrible face blindness. I did also go to the farm today. Uh, again, if you have been watching my videos for a very long time, you know when I reference the farm, I mean the property I grew up on and I went to have a look for a dress so I have this photo from when I was I was 16 in this photo I started on business when I was 15 but in this photo I was 16 and it was my first proper market it was an Etsy market that they held uh, in Melbourne and my pop made me well actually it was a collaboration that little stand it was <laughs> made by uh, some of my mates like my friends at the time and also my pop and also me so there's like a lot of different pieces that went into that from different people that tried to like put it together that is quite sentimental to me like the actual um bow display but also as you can see i'm wearing a dress in it and i was up all night thinking i need to find that dress i've got that dress the dress is somewhere i've moved like four times but i've got that dress somewhere so i went all through my closet, all through um, the boxes I have in my garage right now. 
And then I was like, it's got to be at the farm. I, I, I wouldn't have thrown it out. It had too much sentimental value to me because like, it was one of my favorite dresses when I was like 15, 16. But we found it. Actually, my dad found it as soon as he walked into my old room and he was like, there it is, Tay. So sweet. <laughs> so yeah, I've just washed this and it's almost dry already because it's um, yeah, just like a real light material. But I was planning on hopefully wearing this tomorrow. I don't know how short it... You know what? It actually is not too short on me for some... I don't know. I, I haven't grown since I was like 12. So that's not surprising. And I wanted to do like reels for it as well. So we'll see how they turn out. Go check out my Instagram or my TikTok. Or even check out my YouTube shorts because they will be there <laughs> by the time this video is posted. This was my go-to dress back in the day. I used to wear this to markets all the time. I think the first thing I'm going to do is go make a cake. Probably the least of my worries right now, but I'm trying to prioritize and it's not working for me. I do need to make the banner. I do need to print new signs. I just feel like I can get everything done once the cake's in. So let's go do that. This is definitely going to be a bit fast and loose because I'm not much of a baker. Also, <laughs> my oven, because <laughs> I have so many issues. I don't know why, but I just have had so many random issues with electricity in this house even though the hell house has been rewired and there's like all new everything but for some reason the first one was birds um i got birds in my like roof and it ate all the like wiring so my house kept tripping in certain areas including the craft room actually it's pretty much all the important rooms and then my oven just stopped working and i was like <laughs> Can, can we just have a break, uh, just one month without having to spend like a thousand dollars on some random thing that's wrong with the house? It's just, there's so many things that you just wouldn't be able to like expect. Just, yeah, I don't know. Expect the worst, I guess, if you buy a house that's um, not under warranty, I suppose. I think next time, like if I, if I get another house, which I will get another house uh, eventually, I'll be building. Because, yeah, I just had so many issues. And at least then I can, like, blame someone else. Alright, so I'm thinking a circle cake. I have these little circle tins, which I've never used. Because I was meant to use them for my um, cake for... When was it? For my 100k cake. But I couldn't find them. And I wasn't living in a situation where I could cook in that kitchen. So I ended up going to my auntie's house and I did the cake there, but I didn't bring these. So I ended up getting, I think, like a love heart one, which turned out super cute anyway. So I can't really be too mad about that because it all worked out in the end. Oh, wait, there it goes. The fan's working. So I don't know, the fan just stopped working and the lights on it stopped working. I don't know. Last time I did this, all the cake batter sort of like ran out of the cake tin things. So I'm just gonna like put that on like this. I guess I'll spray with this. I just got the cheapest cake mixture possible because I was gonna get a cake made, but I didn't really want to spend $50 on it to be H. I did it one other time and it was a great cake, but I didn't eat it. Like I had like probably like three slices and like it, we tried, like we really did try to eat it, like, but it was just so big. So I was like, I'll just spend a dollar on this mixture and see how we go. I'm also going to be bringing you to the market tomorrow um, and like setting up and I don't know, filming bits and pieces. So that should be fun too. Oh God. Told you I'm no baker. Don't know what I'm doing. Need better scissors. Alright, let's see what else I need to turn here. I'm doubling the mixture, by the way. Um, I need milk, eggs, and softened butter. I don't know if I'm going to have 320, if I'll be honest. Just under. Should be right. 
Perfect. Two eggs. So we need four eggs. Oh, these might be out of date. Might have to crack these separately. That one's fine. Yep. Perfect. Oh, God. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> Beautiful. How cute are my little bowls I got from Japan? I'm actually thinking about going back there this year. I want to talk to my accountant and see how much I can claim, if I can claim anything, or like obviously I can claim the materials that I buy over there, but if I can claim it as a business expense or like, you know, some of it as a business expense, you know, any bit will help. Because I really just want to go back over there just to um, go shopping for the fabric and buy other cool things. I bought so much for my business. I reckon I had a whole suitcase worth of stuff that I brought back just for the business alone. So hopefully I'll end up there this year. I mean, it's only January, so a lot can happen. I realize now that I'm doing tiny little cakes and I probably didn't need to double that up, but that's okay. I know you're not meant to do this because it's got eggs in it, but oh my god, raw cookie batter and raw cake batter is like my go-to. I don't really know how to scoop this out. Like this maybe? I was thinking whatever doesn't go in these, I could pop it in like cupcakes and bring them to my grandma's tomorrow. I go to dinner every Sunday night and I see my dad. It used to be the whole lot of us go, like that massive family. Like I have a pretty big family. Just me and my grandma and sometimes my auntie that goes now. I don't know how far to fill these up, if I'll be honest. I don't know. I'm not a baker. I've got no idea. I feel like these can go in now because the cupcakes will take less time. I feel like pink is so much more of a vibe. 100 pack. Wow, that's a lot. That's, yeah. All right, so I just finished putting all the bows on the bow cards and collecting everything I needed, like the bow bits and pieces, um, like the little bow cards because I ran out and the business cards because I ran out of those today as well. I also brought my extra like display because I'm not really sure like how I'm going to display these. I'm not sure yet. And I also ran out of bags. So I've just collected all those and put them at the door so then I can grab them tomorrow morning. Someone tell me, with printers, specifically this one, the, oh, it's not even the one I was thinking, the MG560, they have like another one on clearance or like half price or something for $39. Do they come with the full tank of ink? Because wouldn't it make more sense to buy another printer? Which is, because this, printer ink is like 50 bucks or something 
And they're selling the whole printer for 39. Crazy. But I was reading somewhere that they only do like half inks or not full one. Oh, that's hot. I think they're ready. Maybe should have um, flattened them out a little bit, tapped them or something. I've just got up my document where I usually print this sort of stuff. Making some new hair claw ones because I don't actually have the three for 25 deal that's not written by my own penmanship. And I've also got this and I've got the oversized bows as well. So I'll print those out and I don't know what's going on with this. So I had to <laughs> get rid of this and re-download it, the Cricut, because it just would not load. It said it was out of date. It's becoming very apparent that the reels I want to film I will not be able to film tonight because it is tonight, not during the day. And the sun is coming down and it's not looking great. I also haven't got the cake ready yet. I just want to print off a couple pages, what, 36, 38, and 39. Why won't it let me do that? That one came out so easily and I bet the rest won't. <laughs> Point A example. Yeah, it's stuck on that. <laughs> oh, there we go. That one came off right. They're hot. I might put those on a rack so they can cool down a bit quicker. Then I'm gonna ice them. Well, cut the tops off and ice it. I don't have any milk left. So it's just gonna have to be butter and sugar. Oh, that's probably too much. I'm pretty sure last time I actually used proper thick icing, not this. But here's what it is. Also, if it looks like I'm making this very chaotically, it's because I am. I'm really trying to get this done as quick as possible. Alright, so I'm just working out how many letters and how many like little sign things I need. I think I'm going to do it out of this paper. It's just white card. I'll fold it in half and just cut it into like, like that. I could do it on the Cricut, but that's just too much time and effort when I can do it so quickly without it. Oh my god, I bought something that's perfect for this. Where is it? Where did I put it? Look at this. It's a little roller for like paper and stuff. Oh my god, that is actually perfect. See, I knew I'd use that one day. All right, I'm gonna try and take some of these photos. I got gold balloons, a bit obnoxious. I really wanted rainbow ones, but they didn't have both in like the rainbow color, they only have one. And even these, they're like a different shade of gold. This is going to use up all my lung capacity. Do they even come with the little thing that you meant to well, luckily I have lots of balloons because I'm going to have to get one of these bad boys out. So I did try and go through my balloons. I do have lots of balloons and I keep them. Like I put them back down and reuse them. But I didn't have a one and a zero because I didn't do balloons for my 100k. I just did the cake. It's meant to come with like a little straw like this. This is going to take me forever. Might as well do two things at once. Where's my laptop?
Might be crazy, but I kind of want to see what this turns out like. Well, I really only need one side to look good, right? Oh my god, this is turning out much worse than the last one I did. Much worse. This, this is really bad. <laughs> This looks so bad. <laughs> Definitely not a baker. Alrighty guys, this is my cake. It looks terrible, but <laughs> is what it is. Put my zero back in there. It's getting actually a bit dark in here. So I don't know if these are gonna turn out any good. So I'm gonna save the cake and not eat it. I don't know. Not much left to do. Oh, besides the website. But I did the cake. Wow, that looks horrible. <laughs> Alright, back to the usual content. <laughs> um, I'm making the B-Day banner. These are, this is like sticker paper. So I think this will be perfect because I don't have to glue anything. And I can just use it to cut out the like letters and numbers and stuff. I need to figure out how to use the Cricut again because I haven't used it in like a year so I'm thinking I can do like the different colors and it should go on a different mat so what I might do is just so I have um taken them all apart I couldn't remember how to do it uh easier than what I did because <laughs> what I did was um like copy and paste and cut actually cut each one out from the 10th B day I had all on a line. Anyway, I was thinking maybe just do like a rainbow color. So we got green there, green. Actually, I think I'll do green there. Purple and need a pink. All right, let's go put these on the mats. I haven't used this in so long. I haven't used it since I moved. That was over a year ago. It's not even plugged in, I don't think. The great thing about this paper is I don't need a mat for it either. I mean, the Cricut Maker 3, you're not meant to really use a mat for a lot of the smart stuff. This thing is such a good buy. I didn't know I needed it until I found it and brought it into my life. Okay, so a few new signs all ready to go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Just dropped it.
probably could have done the letters a little bit bigger, but I mean, they're fine as they are. I just hope they stand out, out enough on this like white background. Maybe I should have like done an outline first or something. Oh well, it'll be right. I nearly messed up. It would have been all backwards. <laughs> okay, that needs to go out the other end. Yes, <laughs> so that should be tan over that side. Tan feeding. Can't really read it. I'll put it on the ground. All right, I need to get this website done. So I won't film any of that. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, bright early. For my 10th birthday, it's just really surreal, I think. I feel like I'm going to cry tomorrow. I feel like I'm going to get really emotional. <laughs> and I was silly, but like 10 years of my life has been dedicated to this. I ain't that old. It's almost my whole life, you know. It's pretty surreal. See you guys tomorrow.
everyone I'm back from the market and it's my 10th birthday because uh, I didn't really get on I didn't get on this morning to like say anything I've just been filming the market and doing all that jazz pretty good day uh, it was pretty quiet but I mean it is a January market so wasn't expecting a lot uh, I had quite a few come out and say hi and he, people took advantage of the um, freebie because I was giving away like free scrunchies or claws uh, depending on what you wanted with a purchase so yeah a lot of people did yeah show me the email or show me the Facebook post for that so that was cool yeah that's first to end this vlog reflecting thoughts um my cup is so full over the last 10 years and I'm so grateful for everyone and everything that has happened I always get asked like you know if you had what would you change and I don't think I'll change a single thing about my growth and my process and what has happened over the last 10 years because every single thing, every single difficulty, every single hill I had to climb has made me a better person both um, for the business but also personally too because obviously I did start when I was a child and now I'm a young adult. It's pretty crazy to think making a bow has changed my life. It's pretty overwhelming. I feel like I'm going to cry. Anyway, before I start crying on camera, I'm going to go. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support over the last 10 years. And I'll see you next time. Bye.